You see, we don't need walls. Like I always say, you are the church. God said, I chose you to make my home inside. And I believe that every single day God wants to speak to us and in conversation with revelation. And I believe that God is giving us revelation every single day. Why would he give you today if the God of the universe was not going to speak straight to your heart? That's how important you are. That's how precious you are. And that's how much God thinks of you. You know, like I heard before, someone said if you had just maybe five thoughts or ten, ten thoughts of what God thinks of you, you'd be too busy thinking about how much God loves you instead of your situations. You'd be too busy to know how much He loves you. You see, something got put in my heart today I feel like I have to share because, like I said, there's revelation every day. Please tune your ears to the heavens. Don't tune into what you want to hear. Don't fix your eyes on what you want to see. See, because God is not looking for you to know the answer right away. Sometimes He's just looking to give, to fix your heart, to be ready and set for when He throws it to you. So the Lord today, He just placed in my heart. You know how children, um, see, my daughter's 15, so this don't really happen, but when, when kids are small, right, and they grab something from the ground that they shouldn't be touching it. And they might want to put it in their mouth right away. You go, hey, mira, dame eso. I don't know if you guys, that's what that was for me. And uh, tell them, let me get it, you know? And uh, they give it to you, because naturally, right, they know that you're the protector, you're the one that provides, you're the one that they can lean to. And you take that, and you take it away, and they never see it again. Right? That's what we do as parents. We take it away. It's something that can harm your child. We take it away and we do away with it. You see, what God was showing me is that when we're struggling and we have an addiction, when we have something that we cannot let go, you see, God's not looking for us to place it down and say, God, I'm sorry for sinning because you're going to pick it up again. God's saying, I'm looking for you to hand it towards me. You see, we need to lay our burdens and we need to lay our addictions and our sins to him. You see, when you ask for forgiveness next time, I want you to give it to him. Say, Father, I give you my sin. I don't want it anymore, God. I don't want it anymore. You're taking it. God is saying, son, daughter, let me get that. Let me take that sin from you. Because I'm the only one that can throw it so deep in the ocean that no one, not even myself, can find it. We can't forget that he's also a father. He's daddy. And he wants to take that situation and say, hand it to me. Because that's when you'll be able to be free. That's when you live when you hand it to me, there's a difference in saying, God, I'm sorry, forgive me. And you place it right next to me for the next night. And then in the other hand, when you say, God, I give it to you. I only trust you. I give it to you, God. So I don't know who, for who that is, but I took it because it's for me too. And I believe today God wants you to give it to you. Whatever it is, whatever you're facing, whatever you're, you're going through, wherever you can't let go, give it to him today. And I promise it won't come back to you unless you go back to the enemy, back to the world, back to the source. But it won't touch you. Just give it to your dad. This first song you're not going to know, it's called Jesus Messiah. And it's not, it's not the other Jesus Messiah that everyone knows. But it's a song that the Lord gave me. One day I was working, I was working at security. I know I'm not really scary. He looks like he does security, not me. And the Lord just gave me the song. And I just want to be able to share it. It's about giving God the glory and giving God the praise because while I was at work, I said, Lord, I don't know how to get through work without just complaining. And God said, Well, why about you worship me? And I did. I praised God the whole shift that I was there. And then he gave me this song.
God is good. I need every single voice right now. Let's just scream out, Jesus, you ready? One, two, three.
problem solving. Uh, uh, but if there was another way, but nevertheless, yes, I will. And I think the Father is trying to get us to this place where, nevertheless, yes, I will, God. Lord, no matter what it takes, yes, I will, God. No matter the pain and the suffering I need to go through, yes, I will, God. And I just pray that you would have a revelation of that. That whatever you're going through today, you know what, it's funny you just brought that up. God is in total control, even the things that you may think are controlling you, He's controlling it. The very aspect of the situations that you're going through have to pass through the hand of God first to get to you. So I want you to understand is God is trying to get your heart into a place. Say, Father, yes. Yes to your will. Yes to your way. I pray that you would get there. But I pray that you would show your people the true gospel. Whether you are with God, you want to heal, you want to deliver God, but for every promise, there's a process. Let us wake up to that, Father. No matter what we may be facing today, God, but we open our hearts and we say, God, yes, I will. We give up our wills for your will.
Take me back 